everyone told us to chop those expletive things down. I'd been told that cedar was not native, that it sucked up all the water. They're all bad, you gotta get rid of them. And then that it exuded from its roots a poison that would kill grass and other plants around it. I questioned it at the time, but I thought experts knew more than I did. We need to change how people are thinking, push the reset button, and to teach that mountain cedars are part of the solution to regenerating Texas karst country, not the problem. A lot of people wonder, what the heck is karst country? In Texas, it's about 20% of our land, and it's characterized by limestone, bedrock that dissolves easily to form really cool features such as caves and sinkholes. We've got hillside springs, massive aquifers that provide drinking water for millions. One of the characteristics of it is shallow soils. They are so shallow that in many places you have to use a rock bar to dig. And this region is prone to gully washing rains and droughts that dry out the soil, wash it away. The longer that we continue this endless cycle of clearing out mountain cedars, also overgrazing, the more we're moving this land towards rocky desertification. You're going to get more flash flooding downslope erosion, and wildfires. This land was covered with a dense, continuous cover of vegetation. The first Spaniards came. They wrote about it being vast forests, mountain cedar, and various types of oaks. They were saying that the soil was rich and dark, People were reporting jaguars, black bears, passenger pigeons. The thing is, there is hope. We could regenerate Texas cars country. We want to get landowners to stop focusing on the mountain cedar because that's just a symptom of what's wrong. It's not the cause of our problem. They're covering the ground, they're slowing down rainfalls, and they are turning caliche dirt into soil so that more water can soak into the ground to contribute to subsurface groundwaters. So we want to mimic what they're doing, and it also means learning to work with the mountain cedars. If we can just rehydrate the landscape, then we solve sort of two problems at once. We solve the drought problem and the flooding problem. When we get big storms, a lot of water comes down the hill. I come in here and dig these nice fancy berms and swales but you might have a bunch of rocks laying around and you can put those on contour so that when the water flows downhill, it catches the water, slows it down. So by keeping the water on the property, we're turning a stormwater liability into a groundwater asset. There's a lot of great ranches around here who are doing regenerative grazing and they're using bison and sheep and pigs and chickens. The animals are constantly moving. If you don't keep the livestock moving, you end up with overgrazing. You end up degrading that area. We need to improve how we manage Texas cars country. There's gotta be another way to do this and maintain the balance. It's all about the balance. Landowners on Cars Country are the heart of Texas, and when we help them to regenerate these lands, it's going to benefit us all. <laughs>